可怕、啊！我、哦、天哪，看这是什么东西啦？太小啦！干，傻小啦！干。All right, Shalom. This is Hour One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Kah Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Harakah Kodash Ma Maf. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwatim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, yeah, man, we in a heavy time of prophecy. All right, a lot of prophecies kicking off, a lot of uh, current events. A lot of uh, weather atrocities are kicking off in the beginning of, uh, of 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 our year, which is the springtime. You know, right after the Passover, <clears throat> you got these signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars with the coming um, solar eclipse. You just had a lunar eclipse, I think, the other day. And you got um, uh, some comet that's supposed to be arriving a little bit after this. Uh, solar eclipse Right And then um, <clears throat> Now you have earthquakes You have uproars Of the nations against each other Israel just dropped A, a, a bomb on the Iran embassy In Syria Which is protected by Russia And China Which is a major escalation A, a direct attack On uh, Iran you know, even though it's located in uh, Syria, um, so you have a lot of a lot of things going on, man. It's hard to even keep up with, you know, so much is going on right now. But uh, yeah, man, this this is one I want to talk about real quick because this is this is also a sign of the times that when all these major earthquakes, constant earthquakes, you know, uh, uh, hundreds of earthquakes in one one day, but only few of them reported. But this was a strong 7.7 .7 magnitude quake that rocked Taiwan, which was those uh, um, uh, Ammonites, I think over in Japan. All right. And you got uh, China and America ready to go to war over Taiwan. It's the, one of the major producers of the uh, sea hips, you know, CHIPs. So... Uh, you know, this this is another sign of the times, man. Just like this coming up uh, lunar solar eclipse. All right, we're supposed to we're supposed to X or cross out, send a shadow over America, crossing it out. Allegedly, plat passing over all the the, the uh, states that have a place called Nineveh in it. <laughs> I still gotta look into that, see if that's true, but. Yeah, it's crossing over the states, putting a, a X over America since the last solar eclipse. And this is another sign right here. All these earthquakes it's gonna be major earthquakes everywhere in diverse places. Let me get a couple of scriptures uh with this topic. This is second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And we've been measuring the times according to the prophecies, the times that we in is the time of the Lord's judgment, some to to death and destruction, and some to everlasting life, salvation. All right, so that's what times we're in, the time of the Lord's uh, vengeance, Yahweh. And when, and also the, the, uh, the deliverance of the children of Israel, the elect of Israel. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee, right, part of the signs which he told us, and he told us again when Yahweh Shai was on the scene. He said, look for these signs. All right. Um, uproars of the people, earthquakes, signs in the sun, moon, and the stars. All right. Now, so we're measuring the time according to the prophecies, man. It's showing us that we're in the time of the destruction of Babylon, also known as America. World War Three. All right. It says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And how is he visiting? All right, the Lord is visiting the earth. Let's see that. Let's get that real quick. Matter of fact, he said, when, that's when we know the Lord is visiting the earth, the world which he made, man. Just like he visited 
during the times of uh, Nimrod, when they was trying to build the Tower of Babel. Yahweh sent Yahweh Shai down to visit the earth, just like Yahweh sent Yahweh Shai down to visit the children of Israel during the times of Moses. All right. Now Yahweh is visiting the earth, man. But how? Let's get that. This is Isaiah 29 and 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder. See, with storms and thunder. And with earthquakes, man. And with great noise, with storm and tempest. And a flaming, a flame of devouring fire, man. So the Lord is visiting this earth and is bringing earthquakes, you know. And ultimately, when Yahweh Shai arrives, this is... It's going to be major, man. It's going to be earthquakes, the thunder, lightning, storms, missiles flying. All right. Trumpets blasting. Way more than when Yahweh Shai uh, was in the chariot and came down on Mount Sinai. It shook and quaked the whole mountain. All right. So the Lord got this earth trembling right now in fear. Got major event, uh, weather events happening. Causing earthquakes. All right. And ultimately, these missiles are going to cause uh, uh, extreme earthquakes, man. It's going to tear down whole cities. So, we, uh, so this earth is being visited in thunder and with earthquakes, man. All right. So, Second Ezra 9 and um, 3. No, exit 2. Thou, it says, Then thou shalt thou understand that it is the very same time, we in that time, to where the highest, Yahweh, will is beginning to visit the earth, the world which he made, man. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, see, we're seeing earthquakes, we're seeing uproars of the nations against each other. All right, civil wars breaking out, just like in Haiti. All right. Um, this is an uproars of the people in the world. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See, and that let us know that the Lord is manifesting the prophecies right now as we speak. All right, because we're seeing part of the signs pass. You know, we're seeing the olive, the olive. Uh, or the almond tree budding. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. See, everything has a beginning and an end. Just like our judgment of slavery had a beginning, now we have we had the end of it. All right. So now we're entering into the time of Jacob's trouble. And in the end, the climax of it is going to be with missiles. But the beginning of sorrows is going to be with Famine, death, destruction, earthquakes, weather atrocities, you know. Um, now, it says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs, man. And one of those signs are the earthquakes. All right, so this is one of the signs, man. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. We're hearing wars with Ukraine, Russia, um, uh, um, Israel, Gaza, Hamas, and all that. Syria now. Wars and rumors of war with Iran and Israel. All right. And that, uh, what they call it, Hezbollah, America, and Russia. Wars and rumors of wars, China, Taiwan. All right, they're saying it's alleged that uh, America had something to do with those attacks over there in Russia, allegedly. You know, so now you got barges and ships hitting bridges here in America. It says, uh, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. How are we hearing about it? Through the internet. You know, it's not like back in the day we walking up grabbing the newspaper, even though it's in the newspaper still at the grocery stores. But um, you're hearing about it what on your phones, on your tablets, on your computers. 
through the through the uh, the unicorn. All right, the web, YouTube, whatever. Um, see that ye be not troubled. See, we're not supposed to be troubled, just like we're not supposed to be um, uh, uh, dismayed at the signs of heaven. We're not supposed to be dismayed at the atrocities and destruction that's coming upon the earth either. We're not supposed to be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And it's just beginning of sorrows. It's, the end is not yet. All right, so the Lord basically telling the elect, Get ready to be in the midst of all of this uh, chaos. But you got people like IUIC or these other church degenerates teaching that um, uh, people won't be here for the tribulation. It says, for nation shall rise against nation. See, we're going to see all of this happen. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. So the famine is coming. Lack of food. And also the, the lack of uh, the hearing of the word. All right. Famine of money, famine of food, famine of work. And pestilences, man. More uh, disease warfare is coming. And earthquakes in diverse places, man. One of them different or diverse places randomly, but uh, specifically chosen by the Most High is Taiwan right now. 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake judging these places man all right all these are the beginning of sorrows so it's just beginning most high is only just getting started you know so 7.7 .7, let me get this there you go it says thou shalt be visited in earthquakes man all right so not even let me get that real quick matthew 10 and 28 and fear not them which can kill the body but are not able to kill the soul. Man, so the soul is eternal. All right? But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. All right, so to be destroyed right here on this earth, walking around spiritually dead, <laughs> you know? So that's a double destruction. It says, are not, this is the point, are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? All right? And one of them, shall not fall on the ground without your father just a tiny sparrow, sparrow on the on the tree out here flying through the air the situation that happened with nature the most high controls all of it the whole cycle so the things that are happening with taiwan the things that happen on this earth life and death everything the most high is controlling that all right so not even a, a sparrow can fall to the ground without the most high giving the green light for it. All right, I'm ending with this, man. Because um, these earthquakes could happen anywhere. <clears throat> you know, whether they're man made, whether through the weather, you know. Um, now, but it all comes from Yahweh by the commands of the most high. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Second Ezra 14 and 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts, man. See, we got to pull out of this world and let go of the mortal thoughts, you know, even of fear. It says, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Wanting to be an American, celebrity, you know, Christian, all the weak nature. The Lord said, put on thy strength, you know, put on thy, thy garments, which is the truth in the, in the, the law, statutes, and commandments. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And, and also put on Yahweh Shai. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, man. You know, the thoughts of a um, of an average man. But the Lord telling us to think on a different level now. You know, get our minds out of this place, out of this world. You know, um... So set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Get you, fortify your mind. Get ready to lose a lot to to be able to gain. Your how about you, All right. Um, and haste thee to flee these times. All right. So, and we haste by doing this work. For, and that's the thing. If you don't like what's going on, the way to fix it is to do the work. 
All right. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So even Ezra is back here today seeing uh, the, the destruction that's, that's coming. For look, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age, man. So the earth is weaker now. You got all these earthquakes and contractions going on, just like birth. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Just like contractions, man. All the way until judgment day. Like the baby being born. You know, yeah, how was shy. For the, you know, so for the time is flaw. For the time is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. So all the lying that Esau is doing, the mystery of iniquity is already working, pushing their lies and deception, keeping up, keeping people asleep, while all hell is breaking loose and the judgments are creeping up upon this earth. And the Lord is giving a grace period to get right with him and repent and to call on his name. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, man. Ever since Ezra was on the scene, 1452, uh, 452 BC. You know? So that was a long time ago. All the way up until now. Look how much more now the world has gotten weaker. Especially with Esau in power, with the, 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 the abuse of the, of the crop and the lands and the people and the sky and pollution in the animals you know digging for oil robbing the earth of its resources destroying the ocean by uh, uh, making the um, business off of abominable foods like crab shrimp and lobster things that clean the ocean now the ocean is toxic all right so for the time has fled far away man and look how much the, the world has gotten weaker, man. So these earthquakes are going to be increased. And leasing is hard at hand. So lying, all the lies are, are the time of the night. That's what we're in. That's what Yahweh warned us about. The night time. We're in the night now. The, you know, the end of it, going into the day. For now, hasteth the vision to come, which thou hast seen, man. So that's right. So look how much the weaker... The world has become so the same level the evils are increasing upon this earth this earth. And with that I'm gonna say uh, shallow on.